What's good, YouTube fam? Welcome back to the Winner Circle. I'm super excited about today's video because I'm giving you seven gems, seven life lessons that can either make you or break you. And I live by these life lessons. I live by these gems that I'm about to drop on y'all. But before we get into all that, if you are new here, welcome to the Winner Circle. Hit that subscribe button because you home. Welcome home, baby. But if you've been rocking with me for a while, I love y'all so much. Thank you for all your love and your support. Let's get into these seven gems, okay? And the first thing, the first life lesson is, I just have to say it out the gate. I have to be blunt. It is the very first thing that you have to realize in order to be successful, in order to make your life, okay? And the first one is, nobody's coming to save you, okay? For some reason, like, we all, we, we all think that... Not we all, but a lot of people, before they realize this, they think that somebody coming to save them. They think that, um, you know, they, they, they think that they can get a free ride. They think that somebody's going, like, wealth is just going to fall into their lap. And I mean, unless you got some kind of inheritance coming or whatever, but nobody's coming to save you. If you want to be successful, if you want your life to take off, you must be self-reliant. And that means rely on yourself. It is the most greatest thing in the world when you can say that you can pay for your own stuff you don't really have to ask nobody for nothing you can pay your own way you got your own back and that's not to say that we don't have ups and downs because we do but having ups and downs where you on a down that should be a season okay <laughs> let me say that again that should be a season not a lifestyle okay if you find yourself constantly relying on someone else man stay here at the winner circle because i'm gonna help boss your life up i'm gonna help get you right i'm gonna help whip you into shape okay but that is the very first thing that's the the first gem you guys that is the first life lesson is being self-reliant and knowing that nobody and i mean nobody is coming to save you and and even if somebody did want to come save you, even if somebody did want to play Captain save a hole, why wouldn't you want to be self-reliant? Being self-reliant is so fulfilling and that's how doors automatically just open up for you. Being self-reliant is the most satisfying thing that I've ever walked into, that I've ever done, just, just being self-reliant, okay, you guys? Nobody's coming to save you. Nobody's coming to save you. Be self-reliant and your life will flourish, okay? Be self-reliant, okay, you guys? So number two, the number two, the, the second thing that I want to tell you guys um, about being successful, and the second life lesson is learn to watch your words, okay? Learn to watch how you speak about yourself. Learn to watch how you speak about other people. Learn to watch um, um, if you're complaining a lot, if you're constantly negative, if, are you the naysayer? You don't want to be the naysayer. So learn to watch your words. When you're um, constantly complaining or um, saying stuff like, oh, I'm so stupid. I'll never, uh, this sucks. I'll never get this done. Why does my life suck? Fuck my life. Um, that's, a, that's a popular one, especially when you're young um f my life excuse my language you guys but that is a huge one when people be like fuck my life we're not saying that watching how watching your words and watching how you speak about yourself and about your success about your lifestyle about your health about your wealth about your 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 accomplishments about just who you are in general can literally make or break you okay when you're constantly saying stuff like um i can never do this this is too difficult never gonna accomplish this i'm so stupid f my life you're literally making it more and more difficult for you unconsciously to see a light at the end of the tunnel. You're literally impeding yourself from being able to see success. You're literally setting yourself up for, for looking at all the things that could go wrong instead of things that can go right. Okay. You're literally, um, speaking, speaking over your life that you're not good enough. You're not going to be able to make this happen. Be mindful about what you speak, the words that you speak and how you speak about yourself. Um, you don't want to catch yourself constantly complaining. Oh my God, this line is too long. Oh my God, she taking too long. Oh my God. Da, 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 da. When you're constantly complaining, that's all you manifest is more things to complain about. Complaining is... It, it is like the prerequisite for failure, okay? Stop complaining, stop being a naysayer, stop being negative, stop talking down on yourself, stop talking about how, how you can't accomplish things, stop talking about how you can't do things, you don't see the success, you, you're so stupid. Be mindful of your words, be intentional about your words. You wanna speak life into you 
and to others around you. You want to stop complaining. You want to stop, you know, to the best of your ability, judging other people. Be careful. Be very selective on your words. Choose your words wisely. And since we're being intentional about it, you might as well use words that are going to uplift you. You might as use words that are, you might as well use words that are going to help inspire you. And it might not seem like it makes a difference right away, but trust me, it makes a difference. It makes a difference in the longevity of things and it makes a difference in your mind. Everything that you say, your subconscious mind is listening. Your mind is listening. And your subconscious mind don't know the difference between a joke. So if you say, fuck my life and I'm so stupid, your subconscious mind don't know that you just joking or you didn't mean it that way or your subconscious mind doesn't uh, can't decipher that or it doesn't have feelings it it it, 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 it it's it's non-judgmental it can't decipher um between is you playing or is you not playing so be intentional be mindful and be careful about the things that you are saying about yourself you will never hear successful people constantly sitting there complaining you will never hear those people who are in million dollar energy, who, who are extremely wealthy, sitting there and saying negative things about themselves and other people. You will never hear a million dollar person walk in the room like, I am so stupid. No, they're walking in with their head held high and they look like a million bucks. They smell like a million bucks. They feel like a million bucks. They embody that energy. So start to embody the energy that you want to project. And you don't want to project off, I'm a fucktard. We're not doing that. Stop talking. Stop, stop disrespecting yourself. You hear me? We don't disrespect ourselves at the winner's circle, okay? So leave me a comment in the comment section and say, I will only speak positive things about myself. I will only speak positive things about myself, okay? And it, it's so it's so interesting because a lot, y'all know I'm a life coach. If you haven't booked a session with me, book a session because I'm going to help boss your life up. My sessions be fire. But it, it's bizarre because... It's not even bizarre. It's common. Talk to a lot of people and it is so common. It is so normal for people to be everyone's biggest cheerleader, be your, your best friend's support, um, show up for, you know, the, the faculty team and, and, and do all of these great things and, and, and have somebody else's back and speak life into other people when they're feeling bad. And when someone doesn't have the confidence in the moment, you're, you're uplifting them. No, everything's going to be fine. Da, da, da. But then you go, people go home and they're so mean to themselves. They're so rude to themselves. They're so disrespectful to themselves. They treat everybody around them, everybody in the world. They got them on the pedestal, but putting themselves down. Ugh, I'll never do this. Oh, I'm so stupid. Ugh, I hate myself. We're not doing that, especially if you are part of the winner's circle. We're only speaking positivity about ourselves. Okay, you guys, that is that from this day forward. Watch your words and only speak life into yourself. There is power in the tongue. And that's a that, that's a fact. It's an underrated um, scripture. It's, it is a fact, okay, you guys? Watch how you speak about yourself. Love on yourself. Be intentional about pouring positivity back into yourself, okay? I can talk about that part all day, but I won't get into a rant, okay? So number three, the third life lesson that can literally make you or break you is... Your hustle got to hit harder than your habits. Whew. Let's talk about it. Your hustle better hit harder than your habits, okay? Because it's a lot, you know, we all got our little different vices. You know, people smoke weed. People like to have a drink. People, you know, they do, they do. People um, got sexual habits. You know, as long as you say, I'm not here to judge nobody. We ain't judging nobody. We ain't doing none of that. Because um, everybody has their vices. But as long as your your habits is not is not hitting harder than your hustle, and your hustle is hitting harder than your habits, then you're gonna be straight. Oh, my hand is actually giving them let me. That's because my my hustle hit way harder than my habits. <laughs> but anyways, you want to make sure your hustle is hitting harder than your habits. If you smoke weed, whatever. Okay, live your life. But as long as weed is not your master, because weed, and I'm just using weed for an example, there's millions of vices out there. And I don't even like to call it a vice. Live your life, live your truth, okay? But if you, we're just gonna use weed for example. If you smoke weed and and you're that type of person where weed kind of makes you sluggish, make you not wanna do nothing, and make you too relaxed, then don't smoke weed in until the nighttime, until your to-do list is done. Be self-disciplined. 
Because if you know that weed makes you sluggish or lazy or too relaxed, why would you smoke weed early in the day knowing you have a list to get done? Knowing you have a to-do list? Knowing you got to execute? Knowing you got to get in your bag? Knowing you got to show up for your people? Why would you do that and then it ruins the day? No. Make sure your hustle is hitting harder than your habits. But if you're a person who we don't do that to, and you can you can say you you know you are um, a, a, a social media influencer, or you're or you're a YouTube personality. Let's say um, let's say I'm about to smoke some weed, but weed doesn't make me sluggish or lazy. Um, and I, I'm gonna smoke some weed because it, it's gonna calm me and get me in a better headspace because I get anxiety before I get on camera. And but it calms me, so I'm gonna smoke so, smoke some weed a little bit before I show up. Then that's a different story. You have to be responsible enough to gauge yourself and say this is what's good for me. This ain't what's good for me. This is what's good for me. That's not what's good for me. Gauge yourself. Be responsible. Be mature adults to gauge yourself and, uh, and tell yourself what you should or should not be doing or how you should or how you should not be doing it. If, if, if you like to have drinks when you get home from work every day, that's cool. But your liquor better not be your master. If you like to dibble and dabble into, into some other things, whatever, you grown. But let don't, don't let me find out, don't let me find out that your, your vices are hitting harder than your hustle. Let your hustle take precedence over everything, okay? Let your, whatever you are striving to do, whatever you are tr trying to accomplish, let that be at the forefront of your mind every day. Okay, we here to execute. We're in, man, we at the winter soccer, y'all. Leave me a comment in the comment section and say we here to execute. Okay, and you can, you can do it. I am. You guys have my ultimate support. I am your number one supporter. I am your cheerleader. I'm a cheerleader at heart, y'all. I grew up as a cheerleader. I was a cheerleader in junior high and high school. I was a cheer captain. Okay, but I am your biggest fan. I'm your biggest cheerleader. I have your back. You need any encouragement? Comment in the comment section. Let me know what's going on with you guys. I am here to support you. You can do it, but you gotta have you gotta have some boundaries. I'm not telling you to get rid of them vices because sometimes we, you know what I'm saying? All our vices is not really wrong. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like to have a glass of wine every night, but you better believe that it's when the day, I, I, when the day is done, I'm not drunk midday and I can't execute or finish the plan. I can't, I can't finish the to-do list. Make sure your hustle hit way harder than your habits. Okay. Huge, huge, literally can make you or break you huge life lesson. Can make you or break you, okay, you guys. And I, you, y'all know I'll be teaching y'all from experience, okay. So the fourth thing, the fourth life lesson that can literally make you or break you is accepting failure, okay. And I hate to even call it failure because we hear the word failure and we're like, oh my gosh, I don't want to fail. I failed. It has just such this negative connotation around it. it has just such a dark cloud around it when in all honesty failure is good failure is literally the prerequisite for success trial and error is a part of the process trial and error is how you master anything you will never master anything without failure it's a part of the process respect the process and trust it embrace failure and i've said this in a few other videos before failure is not even failure it's data collected on what's working and what's not it's data collected so you know what you could should keep doing and what you should not keep doing it's data collected to know which direction you should go in and which direction you should not go in failure is not even failure failure is a good thing you there's nobody who you know who is extremely successful who probably didn't fail out a million things okay everybody who is successful will tell you they failed they failed they failed they failed trial and error trial and error trial and error hitting rock bottom falling on their face just so they can get back up and keep on going failure is a part of the process it is a prerequisite for success you cannot escape it the moment you decide to embrace failure and say okay what am i what do i need to learn from this um you know looking at the data collected what do i need to learn from this um how oh, what did this teach me in this process and the moment you look at it like that instead of, instead of resisting failure you set yourself free stop resisting failure as if it's something so negative something so bad something just detrimental to life Stop looking at it like that. Embrace failure and the journey will be so much smoother, you guys. Excuse me. Y'all know I'm drinking my water. 
you got the winter circle, you better be drinking water. Do you drink water? Are you drinking your water? Water is everything, okay? And I should have put that in my in, in the life lessons, okay? Water is everything, okay? But embrace failure, you guys, because failure, <laughs> I'm telling you, failure is how is what shapes you, it's what molds you, it's what gives you strength, it's what builds thicker screen, thicker screen, what, what um, gives you thicker skin, it gives you, it just enhances your hustle, it enhances who you are, okay? It, it, it strengthens, it magnifies everything, okay? So embrace failure. Remember, failure is not a bad thing. Failure is teaching you something. And it is a prerequisite for success, okay? So moving on. The fifth life lesson that could literally make you or break you is stop caring what other people think. Stop caring what other people say, okay? There's always going to be a naysayer. There's always going to be someone in opposition of what you're doing. There's always going to be someone who thinks against what you're doing. There's always going to be someone saying, you shouldn't do that. That's stupid. That's a bad idea. That's not going to make you enough money. That's dumb. Who does that? I don't know anybody who's interested in that. There's always somebody going to say that. But uh, don't don't forget don't lose sight of the laws of the universe that's called duality polar opposites positives and negatives okay so when you're doing something expect that negative thing to be there okay because what's happening is okay when you put batteries into where's my remote i don't know but when you put batteries into a remote it, you have the positive side and the negative side right and it takes that both that positive and that negative to have a charge, to activate that charge, okay? When you're doing something and you hear, hear that naysayer, what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to take that and transmute it for fuel for your fire. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to transmute that and transition that negative energy into that positive energy. You're supposed to transform that into that positive and let it be fuel Excuse me, let it be fuel for your fire and it's supposed to activate that charge. What, what you're doing is the positive. Here come the naysayer, that's the negative. That's supposed to activate that charge. You're not supposed to become victim and succumb to what they're saying. Fuck those people. Do you live your best life, okay? Do you be confident in yourself, speak highly of yourself, think highly of yourself. Never let what the next man is saying negative about you affect what you got going on. Man, if they do, call me, okay? Let me know because I got your back, okay? Never let someone, what, what, some, something negative, they're always going to be there. You can't escape it. They, they're supposed to be there. They're supposed to give you that fuel to your fire. That positive plus that negative creates that charge for you to take the fuck off, okay? Take off. Go off, okay, you guys? So when you see that negative just embrace it. Tra tra transmute that into good energy. Let that be. You you're supposed to look at them and want to to outshine them. You're supposed to look at them and want to um want to prove them wrong. Want to show them different. Want to show them otherwise. That negative person is supposed to put a fire under your ass to keep on going. Okay. Don't become. Don't fall victim to it. Oh, nobody likes me. Oh, they're all, they're saying this about my content. Oh, they said this about my looks. They said this about my invention. My idea. Who cares? And 10 times out of 10, and I do mean 10 times out of 10, 10 times out of 10, people are just talking negatively because they're projecting their fears onto you. They don't think they could do it. They don't think they could say it. They don't think they're strong enough. They don't think they're talented enough. They don't think they're pretty enough. They don't have the courage. They don't have the wits. They don't have the drive. They're projecting what they cannot do onto you. They're projecting their fears onto you. They're projecting their insecurities onto you. So, Embrace the naysayers. Stop caring what people are saying or people are thinking about you. Who cares? Is they feeding you? Is they putting clothes on your back? Do they is they um do they do they pay for the roof over your head? No. And if it is somebody who's uh, contributing to your household, tell them they gotta go. Check your attitude at the door. Okay. Do not let what people negative things that people are saying or thinking about you affect you. Keep on going. They're gonna say what they're gonna say regardless. So you might as well do you, right? Let's <laughs> say that in the comment section. Affirm it, you guys. They're gonna say what they say, so I might as well do me. You might as well do you. People are going to say what they want to say. So do you. They're gonna talk whether you're doing it. They're gonna talk whether you're not doing it. So do you you guys do you you i got your back i am your biggest fan you guys i i love having y'all here i got y'all's back i promise you 
I got y'all's back, okay? So you might as well just do you. All right, number six. The sixth life lesson that could literally make you or break you is I need y'all to all become delusional. <laughs> be delusional about the things you want to accomplish. Be delusional about your success. Be cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs about the things you want to achieve, okay? It takes a little bit more than just, I want to be successful. I want to be known. I want to be popular. I want to be monumental. It takes a little bit more than that. That, that mentality is average. And being average don't get you nowhere. OK, it takes a little more razzle dazzle to get you to the top. It takes you a little more umph. You got to put a little bit more umph in it in order to, to break through what average people do. OK, and here at the Winter Circle, we ain't average. We above average. Man, affirm that in the comment section. Is you above average? We above average at the Winter Circle. Say I'm above average. OK, we above average. Collectively, we are definitely above average here at the Winter Circle. But you need to be a little bit delusional. Not even a little bit. You need to be a lot of it delusional. When people say, oh, you, oh, I think you're going to be so successful. I am successful. I'm a billionaire. That's how you need to be talking to yourself. That's how you need to be thinking about yourself. You need to be delusional. You need to, when you walk, when you open up your garage to go in the house, you need to, uh, you need to think that you are walking into your mansion. When you sit down at your dinner table with your family or with your children or with your friends, you need to be imagining that you at that 10 star restaurant. That's what you, where, where it's like $500 a plate. That's what you need to, you need to be delusional. And that is how you shift your reality. You need to draw that new reality into you. And once you become delusional and obsessed with your success, I promise you, baby, that success is going to find you. That success gonna end up chasing you. You ain't chasing us. That success gonna chase you. That success gonna want you more than you want it, okay? Because everything is energy, you guys. The money that you want is energy. The cars that you want is energy. The clothes that you want is energy. The house that you want is energy. The lover that you want is energy. Everything is energy. So when you become delusional and you already know that these things exist and you know that you won't get it by any means necessary... It's going to come to you. It's going to hunt you down. It's going to find you. It's going to fall into your lap and you, don't, you ain't going to even know where it came from. Like, whoa. But that starts in your mind. Be delusional. Be obsessed with where you're trying to go. Okay? Nothing comes before it. And that falls into your hustle got to hit hard. Okay? It got to hit hard, you guys. Be delusional. Be obsessed with the things that you want to accomplish. It can't just be no regular, oh, I would like to da 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 Oh, I told my friends, you know, we should come up with this or we should. No. No, take it up 10 more notches. Be delusional, okay? Be obsessed, okay? And number seven, the last life lesson that I can give you guys that literally will make you or break you is learn to be optimistic instead of pessimistic. There's way too many people who are pessimistic, meaning you look at the glass half empty instead of half full. You're looking at all the things that could go wrong instead of all the things that could go right. No, reverse that. Now we're, pe we're optimistic, not pessimistic. You're looking at the glass half full. You're looking at all the things that could go right instead of all the things that could go wrong. Everything has a positive connotation. All, everything is good. Everything is, I know, I know this is working for me. Everything is good, okay? Be optimistic. Don't put a cap on yourself. Be delusional, remember? Be optimistic. Being optimistic opens doors for you. Being optimistic holds a positive, holds positive energy. Being optimistic draws more people who are optimistic towards you. Being optimistic open it leads the way. It 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 it, it, it paves the way. It's it lines your your footsteps up for you. It literally lines your steps up for you when you are optimistic on how life can unfold in front of you. When you are optimistic on all the wonderful things that can happen to you when um i always i say god show me how good it can get universe show me all the good things that wants me i this is how i talk to myself and i want you guys to adopt the same language show me how much better it could be show me how much more fulfilling my life could be show me exactly how satisfied how satisfied i could be if this 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 is. be oh, open your mind be optimistic the world is so abundant be optimistic about the blessings you can receive the the promotions you can see the checks you can receive in the mail it ain't even got to be coming from nowhere the universe will bless you with checks in the mail that came from nowhere you getting checks from 
2013 a rebate check that like what i got a rebate check from taxes from a cell phone that i bought what that's the universe blessing you open your mind and be optimistic to all possibilities and i promise you that's exactly what you're gonna get be optimistic to miracles happening to you that's another thing that i say i expect miracles i say this every day i expect miracles in my life and guess what miracles come to me miracles happen in my life all the time so be optimistic you guys it can literally make you or break you i love you guys so much i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you guys next time on the winner's circle love you guys